In the sport of diving, 10 seconds count. That's the time it takes from when an athlete approaches the springboard or platform to when they hit the water below. Those 10 seconds require an immense amount of concentration, technique and coordination. Judgment is passed on the overall competence of the dive, as well as the amount of splash created on landing in the water. Scores out of 10 are awarded. One woman who knows all about what's required to succeed at the very top of this sport is 21-year-old Canadian Jennifer Abel. At the 2012 London Olympics, she and partner Emily Heyman secured bronze in the women's synchronized three-meter springboard competition. To find out more about her, Transworld Sport traveled to Montreal, where Jennifer trains. I started diving when I was four years old. My older brother was a diver, and I wanted to be just like him. He was my role model, and in fact, he still is to this day. So yeah, that's how I got started. Jennifer usually trains at Montreal's Olympic swimming pool, but it's closed for refurbishment. So she currently practices at the city's Claude Robillard sports complex. The youngster trains alongside her best friends, Megan Benfeto and Rosaline Fillon. The trio are coached by Arturo Miranda, who won a silver medal for Canada at the 2007 World Championships. We dove in the same team, so they respect me. I'm quite older than them. So they know that I've been around for a bit. They know that uh, you know I put my everything into the training and to the diving. So um, they, they respect the fact that I'm here for them and I will do anything for them and I will support them 100%. Jennifer is of Haitian descent and was born and raised in Montreal. Growing up, she was a very active child. Alongside diving, I tried several other sports when I was younger, including karate, taekwondo and synchronized swimming. But diving was always my favorite. It was the one in which I had a real desire to succeed. It's through diving that I met my friends Megan and Rosalind. We've always trained together. When I was eight, I began to focus more and more on diving. Following London, Emily Hemans retired from the sport and Jennifer has since paired up with 20-year-old Pamela Ware for future competitions. Thankfully, uh, Pamela is a very talented John diver, so she has been in the scene very good. She was fourth at the World Cup in uh, London, so she's uh, quite talented, so she's not, but he hasn't been very, very hard. It's just the time to get used to one to each other. With up to 30 hours of diving practice every week, Jennifer and training buddies Rosalina and Megan try to alleviate the stress and strain of their sport with plenty of fun and games. Megan and Rosalind are my two best friends. I've known them since 1997, when I was six years old. From that day on, we've been training and competing together. We're a really close group and always look out for one another. We love to hang out together, even outside of the competition environment. We're best friends. You could say that we're as close as sisters. Along with her work in the pool, Jennifer also spends countless hours in the gym. Her strength and conditioning training is overseen by Scott Livingston. Jennifer's work ethic serves as an inspiration to her friends. She's a very hard-working person. Um, she never gives up. Uh, she, she's very hard on herself, but when she misses a dive, she always comes back. She's very disciplined as well, and uh, she's always smiling, uh, which makes diving so much more fun because if, if you don't have that one person that helps you dive, um, it's going to be hard and she's always there to, to make everybody else happy and to, to make you laugh and she's just 
so much fun to be around and that really helps uh, everybody around the pool. Megan and Rosaline also won a bronze medal in London in the synchronized 10 meter platform event, having been inspired by the earlier efforts of their friend. She's the one that won the first Olympic medal and it's always been our dream to, to win an Olympic medal. First was actually making the Olympics and then it was the medal when we knew that we had the potential. And just to witness my best friend win an Olympic medal was absolutely amazing. Um, it brought tears to my eyes. To treat herself after the rigors of a typical training day, Jennifer regularly visits a masseuse. These moments give the 21-year-old time to ponder her future career plans. She's currently studying communications at a college in Montreal and has designs on becoming a TV presenter one day. Recently, she's appeared as a guest judge on a Canadian television show called Le Grand Saut, or The Big Splash, in which celebrities are taught how to dive. But for the foreseeable future, Jennifer Abel's focus is on diving, and by the time the 2016 Olympics in Rio roll around, she's expected to be a real favorite for a gold medal. I don't think uh, for her she realizes uh, how good an Olympic medal is. Like, you know, she likes it and it's good, but I think she's looking forward for a better performance in the next four years, so I think it's gonna be mean more in the future. I've already fulfilled a lot of my ambitions in diving. When I was a little girl, I always wanted to take part in the Olympics, and I did that in 2008. Four years later, I won a medal at the Olympics. So now I have my sights set on Rio, and doing even better. Every day when I get up, I think about winning a medal in Rio. I think my career will be complete if I can do so in the individual event.